really is the key player for this Nets team. Ready for this? How's this for a hot take, mm -hmm. Stephen A? The answer is DeAndre Jordan. He <laughs> is the key player on this Nets team as currently Wait, with constructed. Harden, KD, DeAndre Kyrie. Jordan. Okay. That's right. I said it. That's right. <laughs> Not to mention Joe okay. Harris, one of the best three-point shooters in the game. Yeah. This is why it's Could've DeAndre even went Jordan. KD, KD and Harden were <sighs> balling without Kyrie. James Harden rolled out of bed looking like a hot mess, showed up fat, and he and KD looked great together. So everyone says, oh, Kyrie, that's going to be the issue. But since Kyrie's come back, they're still one of the best offenses we've ever seen. One of the and I expect by the end of this year, let me just, just be very clear, I expect this team to be the number one greatest offense of all time. Three elite players who can get their shot at an elite level and hit it from all three levels, from anywhere. They're going to be the and, – and, and Joe Harris. What they need is defense. They haven't been playing defense. In fact, Steve Nash and DeAndre Jordan got into it. Teammates got into it. DeAndre Jordan – for all his size and still at his age, athletic ability has not been very good defensively, and they need him to be the anchor. I kept saying, Stephen A., since the trade, Jared Allen's gone, right? They're going to have to make a trade for a, a guy who can grab some defensive boards. Because even if you play some defense, you have a pretty good sequence. If you don't get the rebound, who cares? Like they got another chance to score, and the Nets really have a problem there. When you're playing Jeff Green at the five, you have a real problem. They, but DeAndre Jordan, what's he going to do? Give you 12, 15 okay minutes or 20 minutes that aren't so great anymore in the modern NBA? He played real defense last night. Miles Turner didn't do anything. And DeAndre Jordan actually also scored. But the main thing was the defensive presence. When he can be the eraser in the paint for any mistakes, when he has it together defensively and is communicating with his teammates – the Nets actually have the answer they're looking for. We know what we're going to get from KD and James Harden. And on the court, even Kyrie Irving for all the off-the-court stuff. Kyrie's impossible when he's on the court. Look at him last night. You can't stop him. Joe Harris, one of the best shooters in the league, period. Those four guys, ridiculous. Jeff Green can't play the five and, you're not, and have defense. It, it, you're not going to have a defensive unit. If DeAndre Jordan can play like that on this roster, that's actually the key. Because Stephen A, right now since the Harden trade, they're the worst defensive unit team of all time. Lowest defensive efficiency per 100 possessions of all time. And no team in the last 20 years has won a finals being below 11th, let alone the last of all time. DeAndre Jordan on this roster is the key. Look, I'm not trying to disrespect DeAndre Jordan because, uh, first of all, he had 12 points, 13 rebounds last night. That's, that, that's good. He, he should do something close to that every single night. And obviously, with Jared Allen being gone, there's an elevated level of responsibility that he has to have. I get that. But this team is going where the hell Kevin Durant takes them. It's Kevin Durant. He's the key. Because you're not just talking about his 29, half point, 29 and a half points a game. Is near 53% shooting from the field. Is near 45% shooting from three-point range. You're not even talking about that. We know he's unstoppable. We know Kyrie Irving is just a showstopper and box office. And James Harden can play that point guard spot and he can deliver. And he's showing a level of selflessness that we are not giving James Harden enough credit for. He's going there. He's fitting in. He's feeding the ball to Kyrie, letting Kyrie shoot twice as many times than him half the nights they play, et cetera, et cetera. There's no problem whatsoever. Let's give James Harden credit on that level because this is a guy that averaged 30 over the last three seasons, at least 28 over the last five. But here's why Kevin Durant is the key. Everyone's here because of him. Period. Kyrie Irving's in Brooklyn because of him. James Harden's in Brooklyn because of him. Steve Nash, who has never coached on any level a day in his life, is the head coach of a championship contender and with his first job in the coaching ranks, okay, because of Kevin Durant. And, oh, by the way, bless you, and by the way, not only is he that guy, but let's take, into this, let's take this into account as well. He's that guy. You know that he didn't have any kind of defensive background when he was a player, 
His lead assistant is Mike D'Antoni, who we give all the credit in the world to for his offensive brilliance. But don't get me started with Jamie Foxx imitations about how you got to take the D to, out of the, you got to take the D out of Dan Tony. At some point in time, he's got to figure out that you have to play defense at some time. Okay, that's that's Jamie Foxx's Cleveland A. Smith. Okay, that's what he said about Mike Dan Tony. We all know this. All of them are there because of Kevin Durant. You were in Golden State. Winning championships when you lost, it was because you tore your Achilles. Otherwise, you probably would have swept Toronto as far as I'm concerned or at the worst took them out in five games. You depart from there. You don't go back to Oklahoma City. You don't go to your hometown and the nation's capital and play with Bradley Beal or somebody. You, go to, you don't go to Madison Square Garden. You go to Brooklyn. And everything that is there is because of Kevin Durant. So the onus is on him to bring all of the pieces together. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.